Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I'm your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to episode 19 of Kimetsu no Yaiba. Now, in the last episode, all of our main characters, Zenitsu, Inosuke, Tanjiro, everybody kind of got split up. At first, it was just Inosuke and Tanjiro, they went in, they fought that spider girl, and then they beat her. And then Zenitsu came in way after and he kind of got lost, so he was nowhere near them. And then last episode, while they were fighting Father, um, I don't even remember it. I think, yeah, I think Father grabbed Tanjiro and threw him into the forest, so now we have no idea where he is and everybody's on their own. Inosuke was fighting Father and it was honestly looking rough. Like, I've never seen Inosuke get pushed to that point where I thought he was gonna die or I thought he was gonna get seriously injured, which he is seriously injured, like we saw him coughing up blood and stuff. But last second before Father could deal that finishing blow, Giyu came in and saved the day. The Hashira himself, well, there are multiple Hashiras, but one of them, one of the big dogs came and saved Inosuke, and then also with Zenitsu, he managed to beat that spider brother on his own, but he fell unconscious right after, and I don't know if he was going to die? Like, he was trying to keep himself awake, because he knew that if he closed his eyes and if he passed out, he probably would have died, I'm not sure. But before he actually passed out, Shinobu came and saved the day, so she kind of lent him a hand, and so now it's looking good for Inosuke, it's looking good for Zenitsu, I think they're gonna be perfectly fine. But last episode ended with Tanjiro fighting Rui. Now, I still think that Rui is the Kizuki 12 member that we're looking for, and so this guy has to be even stronger than father, I'm guessing. So. They were fighting and he has kind of like these steel threads, so while he was using the steel threads against Tanjiro, it actually broke through Tanjiro's blade and it was going straight for his face and then that's when they cliffhangered us so hard. So hopefully we can figure out what happens next in this episode, I'm pretty sure we are, but hey you never know man, we're always left on cliffhangers, it may just be an entire backstory this episode and then at the end it brings us right back to this cliffhanger and never actually solves it. So there's only one way to find out, if you guys are excited make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more Slice Show the content but with that all out of the way let's get right into this episode all right so this is the part of the episode where you guys will be grabbing your source videos if you do not have one i will have one linked in the description so all you have to do is grab the link and then pull up the video and get ready to sync it with me because we'll be starting episode 19 in three oh you can't even see my hand three two one go all right, and this is right where it ended. Ooh, so it actually did get him, but just barely. It left a scratch. I don't know how bad it is though. Dang. That's supposed to be a sword specifically made to cut down demons. And he just broke right through it, so. He's definitely not your ordinary demon, which means Kizuki 12? I mean, who knows? There could always be like another spider member we've never met, but I'm pretty sure it's him. He's hiding his eye for a reason, I think. But man, that was cool. And also, um, fun fact that I found out is Rui, the guy who voice acts Rui, was actually the same person that voice acted Meduem from Hunter x Hunter. So... I think that's actually pretty sick. I think he fits the role perfectly. He's played a couple other big villains. So, I mean, who better to pick for your first Kizuki 12 member we bump into? There's still 11 more we gotta get to, but the first one, man, that's pretty big. And I don't think we're gonna get through all of them before the end of this series, so we still have a long way to go. But another question that I have, there's 12 Kizuki 12 members, right? Are they like, how do I explain it? Are they ranked based on their strength? Like, I believe they are, but I don't know, man. Are we fighting number 12 right here? Are we fighting number 10? Are we fighting two? Like, we have no idea, but if this guy is 12 and he is this strong, who Tanjiro is going to have to do some serious training if he wants to even stand a chance against 
11 or 10 or 8. So, I don't know, man. We got a lot to learn this episode. And there's father. He was dealt with like it was nothing. Oh, I also remember uh, freaking Inosuke in the ending of last episode. He was kind of fanboying over Giyu. Look, he even is now. <laughs> Look at him, dude. Sparkling over there. And he is not amused at all. <laughs> Dude, you're on the brink of death. You're in no condition to fight right now. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Giyu on this one. You got a little bit to go before you can fight him. Dig. But the crazy thing is, like, Gayu, Gayu, Giyu pretty much, oh, <laughs> oh man. That's some good advice. I think it's time to call it for today, you know, Skay. You literally almost died back there. He's literally like a wild boar, dude. Those ropes won't hold him for long. <laughs> and there's Shinobi. Shinobi. Shinobu. Oh my gosh. I love her voice, man. She seems so innocent. Oh, it's the poison that was going to kill him. I'm dumb. Interesting. Um, we're saving the boys. I wonder if any of them are still alive. Dang, that blade was cut clean in half too. And she still hasn't made her move yet. But we do know she's not exactly buddy-buddy with her brother right now. What are you going to do? Oh. He's apologizing for the blade. Ooh. Okay, he's staying on his toes. That's got to be so scary, man. Like, imagine how hard that is to see. But I guess, like, Tanjiro's trained to deal with this kind of stuff. But still, man, for an average person, you wouldn't even see it coming. <gasps> oh my gosh! What? 
She just sacrificed herself, dude. A demon. Yep. Oh my gosh! Holy... He can't fathom the fact that his sister just risked her life to save Tanjiro. His eye! <gasps> what? This isn't real. This- there's no way, dude! He just slaughtered his own sister. Oh my gosh! Oh, I guess she isn't necessarily dead though. Yeah, yeah. Cause this is just like the demon that got his head cut off and he just grew arms. Like, it takes more than that to kill him. What a scumbag. I don't like him. Mm-hmm. What is it? He wants his sister. I knew it! Wow. You know, maybe, did you ever think that the reason why this bond is so strong is because their feelings are, like, reciprocated for each other? Like, if you treat your sister like crap, how can you expect for her to, like, be loyal like Nezuko is to Tanjiro? Man, no matter what, that bond is going to be fake. Ooh, we're getting closer and closer to seeing his eye. Exactly. Let him know, Tanjiro. Uh, over his dead body. Good luck. <gasps> oh! Oh! Lower five. Wait, what does that mean? Is there an upper five? I don't understand. Mm hmm. Oh, so he's the youngest. You spoiled little brat. No, 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 no. It doesn't work like that, buddy. Like, 
this doesn't make sense. Like, your older siblings are supposed to, like, you know, risk their life for you or put their life on the line in order to protect you. But that doesn't mean that their life is yours to own. You're not like this golden child that a hundred men are going to throw their lives away for to protect. Oh, he snatched her up himself! Unhand her, you fiend! Look at this man. Ooh! <gasps> Dig! Those reflexes, though! And Nezuko's... <gasps> what? What is he doing to her, dude? Oh my god! Still, dude... That doesn't exactly feel comfortable. What a loser, man. Ah. That's like running through barbed wire. Ah. Ouch. Dude, seeing Tanjiro and Inosuke get beat like this is rough. My God, and he can't even cut through him. Dang. Oh, this is looking bleak, man. Gyu, somebody come help this man. This is so horrible, man. Poor Nezuko. Dude, this guy is actually giving me, like, Gara vibes right now. Holy crap. Youngest brother? Or what? Yeah, yeah, he was. He was Conqueror's little brother and Tamari's little brother as well. And he was spoiled like this clown as well. Mm-hmm. Final form? Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> Buckle up. Buckle up. <sighs> Ooh! He didn't cut through it, but he's repelling it now. With a broken blade? Oh, <gasps> he did it! He did it, boys. This could be trouble. Ooh, not as calm anymore, are you, buddy? And look at how fast he is. Oh. His blood demon art. Oh. 
Oh, this isn't looking good. Oh my gosh. And it's closing in on him from all sides. His life flashing before his eyes. Sabito. Oh, look at how adorable she is, dude. Is that their mom? Oh, she has that same, like, scar. Oh, that's his dad. Oh, my bad. I apologize. I could, you know, it's, you can't be 100% sure at that distance. Oh, but his dad has the same earrings. That must be his mom. Dude, the animation is so fluid. Look at him. He's got some moves. And that blade. No, I don't even know if that's a blade. Let me calm down. And Nezuko's asleep in the back. Breathing technique. What? Ooh. Oh. Oh, the music, the animation. <gasps> what? He did it. Oh, he's panicking now. You can't stop Tanjiro at this point. Nothing can stop him from cutting you down. Oh. He's dancing between the threads, dude. Deal that finishing blow! <gasps> Ooh! <gasps> Ooh, you cannot run! Look at him weaving these blades! This is so beautiful, man. And this is his thread. He's got an opening. <gasps> Bro. You have to save your brother, Nezuko. Wake up. Listen to mom. Oh no. Oh my gosh. <gasps> what? Dude, oh my, oh my god, dude, this anime is so freaking sick, dude, oh my god. Alright, so if you guys want to skip ahead real quick to 2259, we still have the ending scene to watch before this is over completely. So, whenever you guys are ready, we'll start this in 3, 2, 1, go. 
Oh man, dude, I'm sweating. They gave me chills, dude. Mm-hmm. Hey, mom and dad with the hookups. Pretend family. Ooh, that's the question. Oh, man. Alright, so that was the end of episode 19 of Kimetsu no Yaiba, and that was easily the best episode so far. This one, I'd even put it above the Zenitsu episode. This one was insane. We saw Tanjiro pop off, and we saw Nezuko pop off, dude. We saw her finally use her blood demon arts, brother and sister working together to take down this monster, Tanjiro using his father's teachings, like, oh my gosh, that was so cool. These threads that broke through his sword and almost ended Tanjiro. Towards the end of the episode, he was slicing through him like butter, dancing, weaving between the threads, and then before him, when his blade hit the Kizuki 12 member's neck, Rui, it didn't do anything. Now it cut through it like butter, and he even said so in the ending, dude. He cut through his neck like butter. Oh my gosh, Tanjiro is a monster, dude. He's actually a monster. Holy crap, this dude had his back against the wall and completely turned that fight around. I. I, I I, I don't even know what to say, man. Oh my gosh. Oh. Man, this anime never ceases to amaze me. And every single episode leaves me looking forward to the next one. I thought that the Zenitsu fight was going to be the peak for a while. It's like, okay, they used a ton of animation, a ton of, you know, hype in this episode. So maybe it's going to calm down for a bit. But no, dude. Tanjiro blew that episode out of the water! Oh my gosh! No pun intended! <laughs> but man... <sighs> but anyways, that was the end of the episode, so thank you guys so much for checking out the video if you guys did. Make sure to leave a like if you guys enjoyed, because I know for sure I did. Make sure to comment your thoughts in the comment section down below, and subscribe for more Slice Shonen content. But with that, I'm gonna head out, so I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.